Hi, my name is Joseph Sentongo. I work with the Gender, Equity and Rural Employment Division of the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, of the United Nations in Rome. Um, we had a project a few years ago on the border between Uganda and Tanzania measuring the burden of human, crop and livestock disease. And as a key finding of that project, we found that there was a lack of institutional capacity for disease surveillance. Hence, we came up with a pilot project that uh, tried to fill the gap in this disease surveillance and mechanism for crops and livestock. This is very important in that region because uh, the livelihoods of farmers there depend on um, agriculture and also the co-occurrence of diseases in the area uh, can have a devastating impact, impact on the food security and their livelihoods. We decided to use mobile uh, technology because um, SMS is relatively cheap and the setup of the whole um, SMS uh, reporting system was quite um, was relatively low in terms of cost. Um, we trained the farmers who are the main beneficiaries, so the guys at the ground level, the extension workers who would receive the SMSs on disease reports, and also the subject specialists who were then called in to intervene once a disease is reported. SMS technology allows us to speed the transmission uh, of information from the farmer to the subject specialist, uh, which is quite critical in these areas. And also, SMSs are quite widely used because even in rural areas, we find that mobile, phone, mobile telephony is ubiquitous and has high penetration. So all it takes is some training to the farmer to explain to them how to fill in this SMS and uh, report where they are, what disease they've identified, and then the SMS will go to a central system where it will be interpreted and um, then sent off to a subject specialist who can then decide whether intervention is necessary. This is also useful because uh, the disease information is being stored. Um, it's a living database, so it's ever expanding, but it also has geospatial uh, data. So you can then go back in time and analyze the evolution and transmission patterns of the disease and correlate them to other variables, for instance, uh, climate. Um, from a technical point of view, the project runs very well, but of course you have problems sometimes in SMS reporting or wrong identification of uh, disease, so there's a need to limit maybe the amount of diseases that uh, a farmer sends in. We have challenges that uh, sometimes even if the report goes to the uh, subject specialist and they have to intervene, they don't have the resources, the equipment, the fuel money to come and intervene and therefore the farmer doesn't feel like um, their service is get, they're getting any benefit from sending this SMS. And also we need um, perhaps greater buy-in from governments who um, could use this to consolidate their disease management mechanisms which often are uh, almost uh, inexistent and this could be if um, with their support and support of mobile phone networks who could provide toll-free SMS for instance uh, you could strengthen the disease surveillance mechanism for crops and livestock. So we've tried it in Tanzania and we'd like to try it in and Uganda. We'd like to try it in other areas, uh, rural areas in Africa.